there. Welcome back to another hypermobile friendly workout. I am very excited to teach this one today. We are going to be focusing on the upper quadrant of the body, primarily the upper back, shoulders, and a little bit through the neck. We'll get into the chest as well. Um, but I am just feeling really kind of like wonky and tight through my upper back today. So I am excited to get into some kind of integrated strengthening and stabilizing movements with you guys. Um, for this class, you are going to need a long resistance band. I am, because I'm feeling kind of tight and wonky, I'm gonna be working on a fairly light resistance. But as always, I encourage you guys to just kind of use what feels good for you. And of course, as always, I encourage you, if a movement is feeling not quite right or pinchy or you know not the good kind of challenging, feel free to just nix it for the day and do something else or I'll do my best to offer some modifications as we go along. Um, but there is absolutely no point in pushing through any sort of bad type of pain because chances are we'll just be doing more damage than actually helping. So um, with that being said, we are gonna go flat on our back. We're gonna be doing a chunk of, um, a chunk of our work today, either flat on our back or on our stomach. Um, but let's go ahead and just start down here with a couple of breaths. Let me just get my ponytail out of the way. And let's just start getting settled, taking stock of where, where we're connected to the floor. As always, we're going to begin with a couple of deep breaths. Big inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. As you cycle through these breaths, I want you to try to elongate your exhale just a little bit so that inhale is nice and deep. That exhale is a little bit deeper. As you cycle through this breath, I want you to just start taking note of where your breath is going in your body. Are you doing a lot of upper chest breathing? Are you able to send that breath a little lower into your body? Are you breathing into your neck? Are you feeling neck tension or like you're flexing your neck muscles as you inhale? And can you try to soften that musculature and soften the breath? Let's go for two more. shifts or adjustments that you may need. Good. And before we bring out the resistance band, I'm going to have you guys just do a couple of primer movements. So you're going to start with one arm. You're going to keep a soft bend in the elbow so that if you have hyperextended elbows, you're not dropping into that hyperextended lockout. And you're just going to inhale to float one arm up towards the ceiling as much as you can. And then inhale to float back down. Sorry, exhale to float back down. Hello. <laughs> You can really breathe either way, whatever feels good for you. But as you cycle through this, I want you to feel your shoulders stay connected to the socket. And we're floating back down. And again, as you cycle through this, make sure every time you bring the arm down to the mat, you really do just let it go fully. You're not holding tension in the shoulder. Keep it kind of slow. This is one of those movements we're trying to just create a little bit more connection to those deep stabilizing muscles in the shoulder. 
make any shifts or adjustments along the way. This is just kind of a nice primer movement. If you want to change the angle of your hand, if you want to do this with your palms down or your palms in, maybe even your palms facing up, that's totally fine as well. This is just some nice, what I like to call kind of intuitive movement happening here. Let's go for maybe two more. I'm going to start taking my arm a little higher over my head because that's just feeling right. out to the side because again that's just feeling right. And we'll do one more like that. Almost making like a circle towards the end of this because your shoulder is a ball and socket joint so that's cool. Ooh, yeah just felt like a nice little settling into my shoulder here. And just lay that arm down for a second and see how it feels. Does it feel any more connected to the other side? Or excuse me, does it feel any more connected to its socket, not to the other side? That'd be a little awkward. All right, let's try doing the opposite arm now. Just a nice, easy lift. And I say easy, but this might feel kind of sticky. I know, honestly, the first, like, the first one on this side felt pretty sticky. So we're just going to kind of float the arm up float the arm down. Once again, just trying to create some activation, trying to create some connection to the shoulder socket. And again. And your shoulders and upper body are very deeply connected to the pelvis, they're very deeply connected to the lower portion of the body. We know the whole body moves synchronistically. So you may feel like little adjustments that you need to make through your hips or pelvis as you cycle through this, that's okay. Three more feels about right. Once again, feel free to make any adjustments through the arm. Enjoy a moment of intuitive movement. Whatever feels beneficial here. I'm starting to do a little bit of circling for these last two because that's just feeling right. Maybe you'll notice a little more access to your breath. That's always lovely. I'm going to come down out of this last one. And just take a second to resettle, guys. Once you feel resettled on your mat, go ahead and grab onto your band. Wrap your hands in so that your hands are about shoulder distance apart. Little pro tip, when you wrap your hands in, it is a little bit less stressful on the wrists than just gripping. And we're gonna start with a nice basic one. The band is gonna line up with the center of your chest, not with your neck or your eyes, please. Find that connectivity of the shoulders that we just created. And on your exhale, you are gonna start to bend the elbows, glide your arms down towards the mat. Almost like you're feeling your upper back getting a little bit wider. And then inhale, start to float back up to the sky. Now, I don't care if your elbows touch the mat at all. What I would like to feel is some activity through the upper back, some activity through the backs of the shoulders. I want to keep the neck kind of relaxed here. And we're just going to cycle through this a handful of times. Good. Feeling that nice activation. Even if it's very small, guys. When I first started doing this movement, it was literally just like a tug on the bands in order to get it activated. It wasn't a huge pull. 
If you can make it all the way down to the floor, then that's amazing, but it's definitely not required. As you cycle through this, make sure the wrists are staying as long and strong as you can keep them. This is a little bit of wrist and elbow work here as well, guys. And bring some awareness to the front of your ribs. We want to make sure that you're not puffing your rib cage off the mat just to make this movement look bigger. Let's go one more here, so long as you feel good for it. And go ahead and relax the arms down for a second. Hopefully you're feeling some connectivity through the upper back, the shoulders. When in doubt, you can always take that movement a little bit lower down the body. That way it stays more in the back, less in your neck. All right, we're gonna add on to that. For this next movement, I'm gonna take my hands a little bit wider. So I just adjusted so that my hands are slightly wider than the shoulders. You still want the bands to end up about in line with your breastbone. You are going to think about your shoulders connecting into their sockets, your arms staying long and strong so that you can pull the band apart and then inhale to bring it right back through center. Exhale, long arms, pull the bands apart. Inhale into the back of the rib cage. And exhale. Building the pull with that exhale. And then inhale. Now, if you can make it all the way down to the floor, then that is awesome. But if you're not connecting to the ground, that's fine. The goal is to stay connected to the backs of the shoulders, to the upper back, not necessarily how big you make it. Make any shifts or adjustments along the way for four. Inhale for three. Let's go to and one more and bring it on down. Beautiful job, guys. All right. If you feel good for it, I want you guys to loop the bottom of the band around both of your feet. And we're going to find a tabletop position. Tabletop meaning both knees at about 90 degrees. Now, if this is too much on your back or your hip flexors, that's cool. You can just wrap the band around the backs of your thighs and you're still gonna hold on to each end. Ooh, hello, I may not lose my band. You're still gonna hold on to each end of the band. You're gonna hold really tight here so that you can very softly send your legs forward. And back. And send your legs forward. And back. And if you're doing this with your band around the backs of your knees, you're instead going to lift one foot forward and back. So there's your modification. Takes a little bit of the pressure out. The version we're doing is slightly more advanced, but also a great one to just kind of build into. Ooh, this feels kind of nice, so we want to get a little bit of a lower ab activity here. But we also want to stay connected to the upper body. So the nice thing about this one is you've got a little bit of bicep activation. You've got definitely some nice core and upper thoracic activation. You've got some shoulder and postural work happening here. Let's go four. And three. Two, one, and bring everything back down and relax. Beautiful job. So we're just kind of working on a bunch of different resistance points. And now what I'm going to have you do, and I have to come up for a second here, but I'm going to have you take the band, you're going to make it long and flat, and you're going to lay it across the middle of your mat or on the floor, wherever you are, 
and you're going to lay down with the band right behind your shoulder blades. So we've done a lot to activate the upper back. Now we want to make sure we're getting a little bit into the front of the shoulders and pecs. Not going to do tons here today. Well, let me grab the bands. That was a little wonky. And grab the bands. And you want to get it like as even as you can. For me, it's most comfortable when the band is slightly underneath my shoulders, like under my armpits. Um, but you guys can find a position that works best for you. You're going to take a grip on the band. You're welcome to wrap your hands back in. Once again, it kind of spares the wrists a little bit. And on your exhale, you're going to elongate your arms up to the ceiling, feeling the front of the shoulders, feeling the front of the chest get nice and active. I don't care if you go to full elongation or not. You'll notice I'm not. Inhale, come right back down by your sides. Let the collarbones, the collarbones stay open. Inhale, and then exhale, let's repeat. And you may find as you cycle through this that your first few repetitions, you're not getting to full length through the arms. That's cool. See if you can build a little bit. Maybe it gets longer and longer as you go, just like we did with that first movement today. We gave it some time to build. You want to stay connected to the front of the shoulders. You want to feel your back kind of sink into the band. Inhale, come right back down. Oh, this actually feels really good. Hopefully it's feeling beneficial to you. Feel free to make any shifts or adjustments along the way. As you press up, you feel the chest get active. You feel the shoulders get active. The fronts of the shoulders, ideally. And then as you come down, you're going to feel the back get a little active as well. The backs of the shoulders, because that's your eccentric movement. And again. Now this is one that tires me out pretty quick, so I think I'm going to go for maybe one or two more. You guys are welcome to do less, you guys are welcome to do more, figure out what works well for you. Sink it on back down to the ground, slow and controlled here guys. And go ahead and relax. Now, I would like to do a couple with um, single, uh, single sided movement. So we're just going to do one arm at a time. My shoulders are already feeling pretty solidly worked, so I'm not going to do too many here. But you guys join me just elongating one arm at a time, feeling that tension. And then inhale to softly sink it back down with control, connecting into the shoulder. And then you're going to alternate sides. And this will really help you determine also if one side maybe feels a little more stable than the other, one side's a little wonkier. My left side shoulder historically is like a little bit, a little bit harder to connect into, so that felt a little more wobbly. But that's okay. That's why we do single-sided. It's a, a really kind of telling sequence of movements. Continue to breathe and find that connection to the back, into the band, to the arms, and elongate. Make sure the neck is staying soft. I'm going to go one more per side. Like I said, I know I'm not doing that many. You're welcome to add on a few. I'm going to do one more on the left, elongating. Careful not to hyperlock the elbow at the end. Oh, and that felt good. All right, you guys. We are going to wind down with a series flat on our abdomen. Now, if being flat on your stomach doesn't feel good for you, you guys can just call it a day and that will be the end of our class. If this is a position that's accessible to you, Join me here. 
forehead down on the ground. You're welcome to put some padding underneath you. And we're going to start with our arms just tucked, kind of relaxed next to our body. So elbows are going to be next to the ribs. And all I want you to do here, guys, is start to float just your elbows off the floor just a little bit. Please don't chicken wing yourself. I want you to keep this a really active movement. Connect into the musculature of your upper back and then softly bring it in. And again, I'm going to glide my hands so that they're more kind of next to my head because that position is just feeling better for me. And then softly bring it in. And do it again. Softly lift up. Connect into the upper back. Feel the abdominals get a little active. And if it feels good to you, now try to float the whole arm up just a couple of inches. And this should feel like more of a challenge. <laughs> Lower back down. Just this movement alone took me a really long time to connect into. I had very little connection to my upper back. So if that's where you are today, that is fine. With every inhale, feel the entire diaphragm fill up. With every exhale, you're going to feel your core activate. The upper back works together. Beautiful. Let's maybe go one more. Can you hold it up there for a couple breaths? And if not, that's cool. Go ahead and lower everything down. And if you have access to it, one more movement we're going to do here, guys. Keeping your arms on the floor, lifting from your upper back, letting your neck be long. You're going to float your heart up an inch or two off the mat. See if you can elevate your head slightly. And then softly lower it back down. And then again. And this is one of those movements where if you feel like your bum is activating, your legs are activating, that's okay. This is a, what we call a posterior chain movement. It's very back of the body oriented. But what I don't want to see happen is this. I don't want to see your head flipping forward. This isn't a neck movement. It's a spine movement. It's an upper back movement. And so that means your neck is going to stay elongated. <sighs> Let's maybe go for two more. Ooh, this feels good. I feel all sorts of good things shifting along the way. And let's try one more. Alrighty, however feels comfortable for you, go ahead, press yourself up. Ooh, oh, my hair came out of my ponytail. Come up to seated. Take a moment to reorient, and we are going to call that a day. Beautiful, beautiful job, guys. Take a second to just take stock of where your body is. Oh, I feel like I have so much more breath in that. Um, hopefully, you guys are feeling good and strong and connected. I encourage you guys to take a little walk around the room. Sometimes doing all that upper body and shoulder work, you have to reacquaint yourself with gravity. So in the meantime, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed and um, I will see you in the next video.